Normal distribution is a distribution that has a bell-shaped graph with mean at the center. The area under the graph gives the probability. The two important parameters in normal distribution are mean and variance. To find probability for normal distribution, we must first transform the distribution to standard normal distribution. Standard normal distribution is a normal distribution with mean equals to 0 and variance equals to 1. Thus, standard normal distribution graph is a bell-shaped graph with 0 at the center. The letter Z is used to represent random variable having standard normal distribution. And Z is given by X minus mu over sigma where mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation. Probability of standard normal distribution can be found by using standard normal distribution table. To use the table, keep in mind that table gives probability of z greater than a certain positive value. Now let's look at an example on how to find probability of normal distribution given value. Suppose that a random variable x has a normal distribution with mean equals to 50 and variance equals to 64. Since variance equals to 64, standard deviation is equals to 8. To find probability of x greater than 55, First, change normal distribution to standard normal distribution by using formula x minus mu over sigma. Here we get probability of x greater than 55 equals to probability of z greater than 0 0.63. After that, draw a bell-shaped graph with 0 at the center. Plot 0 0.63 on the graph. Draw a vertical line like this and shade the region of probability that we want to find. The region of probability depends on the inequality sign. Because we want to find probability of z greater than 0 0.63, the region would be to the right of 0 0.63. To find probability, refer to standard normal distribution table. Since table gives probability of z greater than a certain positive value, probability of z greater than positive 0 0.63 can be obtained straight away from the table. Just locate 0 0.6 from the first column and 0 0.03 from the first row and read the corresponding probability in the body of the table. To find probability of x less than 40, first change normal distribution to standard normal distribution by using formula x minus mu over sigma. Here we get probability of x less than 40 equals to probability of z less than negative 1.25. After that, draw a bell-shaped graph with 0 at the center. Plot negative 1.25 on the graph, draw a vertical line like this and shade the region of probability that we want to find. Because we want to find probability of z less than negative 1.25, the region would be to the left of negative 1.25. To find probability, refer to standard normal distribution table. Remember that table gives probability of z greater than a certain positive value. For probability of z less than negative 1.25, if we reflect the graph to positive side, we can see that the region for probability of z less than negative 1.25 is the same as the region for probability of z greater than positive 1.25 and probability of z greater than positive 1.25 can be obtained straight away from the table. 
just locate 1.2 from the first column and 0 0.05 from the first row and rate the corresponding probability in the body of the table. To find probability of x less than 65, first change normal distribution to standard normal distribution by using formula x minus mu over sigma. Here we get probability of x less than 65 equals to probability of z less than 1.88. After that, draw a bell-shaped graph with 0 at the center. Plot 1.88 on the graph, draw a vertical line like this and shade the region of probability that we want to find. Because we want to find probability of z less than 1.88, the region would be to the left of 1.88. To find probability, refer to standard normal distribution table. Remember that table gives probability of z greater than a certain positive value. Thus, table cannot give probability of z less than 1.88. But since table can give probability of z greater than 1.88, to get probability of z less than 1.88, take 1 minus probability of z greater than 1.88. Read probability of z greater than 1.88 from the table and calculate the probability. To find probability of x greater than 43, first change normal distribution to standard normal distribution by using formula x minus mu over sigma. Here we get probability of x greater than 43 equals to probability of z greater than negative 0.88. After that, draw a bell-shaped graph with 0 at the center. Plot negative 0.88 on the graph, draw a vertical line like this and shade the region of probability that we want to find. Because we want to find probability of z greater than negative 0.88, the region would be to the right of negative 0.88. To find probability, refer to standard normal distribution table. Remember that table give probability of z greater than a certain positive value. For probability of z greater than negative 0.88, if we reflect the graph to positive side, we can see that the region for probability of z greater than negative 0.88 is the same as the region for probability of z less than positive 0.88. Table cannot give probability of z less than 0.88. But since table can give probability of z greater than 0.88, to get probability of z less than 0.88, take 1 minus probability of z greater than 0.88. Read probability of z greater than 0.88 from the table and calculate the probability. To find probability of x between 56 and 64, first change normal distribution to standard normal distribution by using formula x minus mu over sigma. Here we get probability of x between 56 and 64 equals to probability of z between 0 0.75 and 1.75. After that, Draw a bell-shaped graph with 0 at the center. Plot 0 0.75 and 1.75 on the graph. Draw two vertical lines like this and shade the region of probability that we want to find. Because we want to find probability of z between 0 0.75 and 1.75, the region would be in between 0 0.75 and 1.75. To find probability, refer to standard normal distribution table. Remember that table gives probability of z greater than a certain positive value. 
to get probability of z between 0.75 and 1.75, take probability of z greater than 0.75 and minus with probability of z greater than 1.75. Read probability of z greater than 0.75 and probability of z greater than 1.75 from the table and calculate the probability. To find probability of x between 40 and 46, first change normal distribution to standard normal distribution by using formula x minus mu over sigma. Here we get probability of x between 40 and 46 equals to probability of z between negative 1.25 and negative 0 0.5. After that, draw a bell-shaped graph with 0 at the center. Plot negative 1.25 and negative 0 0.5 on the graph. Draw two vertical lines like this and shade the region of probability that we want to find. Because we want to find probability of z between negative 1.25 and negative 0 0.5, the region would be in between negative 1.25 and negative 0 0.5. To find probability, refer to standard normal distribution table. Remember that table gives probability of z greater than a certain positive value. For probability of z between negative 1.25 and negative 0 0.5, if we reflect the graph to positive side, we can see that the region for probability of z between negative 1.25 and negative 0 0.5 is the same as the region for probability of z between positive 0 0.5 and positive 1.25. To get probability of z between 0 0.5 and 1.25, take probability of z greater than 0 0.5 and minus with probability of z greater than 1.25. Read probability of z greater than 0 0.5 and probability of z greater than 1.25 from the table and calculate the probability. To find probability of x between 48 and 59, first change normal distribution to standard normal distribution by using formula x minus mu over sigma. Here we get probability of x between 48 and 59 equals to probability of z between negative 0 0.25 and positive 1.13. After that, draw a bell-shaped graph with 0 at the center. Plot negative 0 0.25 and positive 1.13 on the graph. Draw two vertical lines like this and shade the region of probability that we want to find. Because we want to find probability of z between negative 0 0.25 and positive 1.13, the region would be in between negative 0 0.25 and positive 1.13. To find probability, refer to standard normal distribution table. Remember that table gives probability of z greater than a certain positive value. To get probability of z between negative 0 0.25 and positive 1.13, take 1 minus probability of z greater than 0 0.25 minus probability of z greater than 1.13. Read probability of z greater than 0 0.25 and probability of z greater than 1.13 from the table and calculate the probability.